yeah, I can definitely see myself in this space for a while. I think it's a, it works really well for how I work. It's, it's not completely silent um, and it's not completely chatty com all the time. Um, it's a nice space and I feel really comfortable working here. I've only, I've only been in here three months now, but because I knew the guys before, it felt like a real natural um, move and one that I think I will, yeah, definitely keep going for as long as I can. Yeah, I think that's the thing that I have been thinking about and I'm not sure until it comes to it really because I think leaving behind everyone would be quite sad to, you know, to go and work with just a smaller group, it'd be quite an adjustment and I, you know, I enjoy sharing with my friends. But then already I'm kind of getting into this space issue thing where I have like cushions everywhere and fabric and I'm always apologising to people because my crap's everywhere. So um, I think there will come a time when probably it won't be me, it'll be them saying that you need to get some more space. Uh, we've just had a big change around here and um, it feels really good. Uh, we've had some new new people move into the space and the energy is really high. I, th I think it's always good to have a bit of, um, I don't know, a bit of a change of, of scenery and, and, and people just to make things or keep things fresh, um, especially in a shared space like this. Um, so yeah, I don't see myself moving for a while anyway. Not, not at least until I need even more space and then I'll probably have to go somewhere cheaper, you know, somewhere where I can afford to have a whole room to myself. But I don't know, I'd, yeah, I'd be sad to move away from here, I think. Yeah, I definitely see myself here for the foreseeable future. It's just jug yeah, juggling time at home now, because I've got a little baby, sort of um, three month old, so it's just working out. There might be, you know, I might have to sort of try and do two days at home and then more here, but I'm quite, I mean, the last week I've been here every day and like, it definitely gives me that separation. So it's just a case of, juggling it between, you know, how busy you are and, you know, when there's a, yeah, if there's a sort of quiet time, maybe spend a few days at home, but. I'm personally excited about um, trying out some new um, ways of working. Um, I've been experimenting recently with some non-paper based uh, materials, which for me is actually going back to some of my earlier work um, where I was a bit more experimental in the, ma the materials and the mediums that I used. Um, it's only in recent years really that my work has been solely based around paper cutting. Um, and since doing my book, Paper Cut, um, I felt like that reached a bit of a, a peak in, in sort of the paper, uh, my paper way of working. Um, so I think next year it'd be nice just to go back into experimenting again and having a bit of fun with it. Um, collaborating with a few photographer friends. I've got a few projects on the horizon with them. And yeah, just, just trying to have a bit of fun, I think, alongside the commissions and the day-to-day -day work. Well, I think um, with my agency, they've, um, I'm with B and A, or Bernstein and Julie. They've just taken on another staff member in the UK, and he's in charge of like, editorial and design. So. That's quite exciting because we had a meeting recently and we've been talking about putting together a client list of who I'd want to work with and he's going to try and set up meetings with those people so hopefully that's going to be quite exciting just to really be able to target who I want to work with and develop my portfolio and try out some new projects. I'm, I've pitched, well I've got a job that um, I'm 99% sure is going through which is to do the interior of a new restaurant in London and to do a lot of type, typography sort of based work on a large scale, um, which is something I've not really done before. I've done a lot of murals, a lot of them being image based, a lot of them being illustration that is of, of things, whereas this one has the opportunity to be heavily typographic, really large, and pushing that a little bit more. Um, alongside that, I'm, I'm going to start doing a lot more prints. Um, which is something I've never really focused on before. I sort of spent the last few years really focusing on getting my professional work up to scratch um, and not had the time to focus on that, but I think I'm gonna try and do that and, and see what I can learn doing that and bring that back into my commission work.
Well, yeah, being with new agency, I think that's because I sort of let it stagnate a bit with my previous one. Uh, quite excited about that. Once kind of get things rolling, um, what projects might come out of that? Um, yeah, just some self-initiated ideas that I want to also try and put in place and collaborate with people, you know, towards an exhibition, almost on the sort of more art side of things. Um. I think I would say my advice to someone who wants to go freelance would just be to do it, give it a go. I think if you are passionate about illustration or being creative or you know whatever you want to freelance in if you if you put the time and the effort into it i think you know you can make a success of it it's just that first leap that's always the hardest i think meeting people is really important it's important just to get yourself out there uh, contact and connect with people not just potential clients but also people you admire um, in the same way that I got to work with Mario Hugo um, and how that led to me discovering freelance lifestyle and, and how exciting it could be. I think that it's important that people go and connect with you know, those illustrators or designers that they really respect and um, learn from them about how this industry works. Piece of advice, I say be yeah, you've got to be quite persistent and, yeah, have a hard shell, don't, you know, you've got to learn to take um, criticism, but also, yeah, sort of self-promote, you know, sort of as much as you can, you know, just have no shame in doing that, because I think it's, you know, you've just, you've got to do it as a freelancer, so, you know, and staying in touch with people is a huge way of them remembering you, so I'd say those things, really. Um, on my course, we were only really shown or, or told about working for big companies. And when I came out of university, I, I felt that that was the only route I had. Um, and so actually discovering about you know, freelance life and how it can be very exciting and very rewarding, um, I, I you know, highly recommend that everyone sort of just gives it a go. But yeah, just go out and contact as many people as you can and, and sort of build your own network of, of friends and colleagues. I think uh, just the one piece of advice I'd give to new students is to be open to new opportunities and go out and, and try and, and find stuff. Don't wait for people to come to you. Go out with your portfolio and, and meet as many people as you can. Be bold and be and be willing to learn and, and try new things. Don't ever feel like you're set. You've got your style and that's it. Trust the sort of um, progression and the journey of it really.